Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher coming at you as the shirtless maniac Mega Crasher, and we're doing this big time here, because this is two more Tuesdays, we got two tremendous battles to get to narrating, so right off the bat, let's aim for 22 likes for two more Tuesdays, two more battles, how you doing baby, and these two battles are red hot, in fact, they're white hot, that's how hot the flames are burning inside of me, and burning in these computers competitors as we're seeing right here. Our first battle comes in the form of a Generation 7 RU beta match. We got not so great Salmon versus Shiny Eevee 102. The bunch of twos everywhere, man. Holy shit. But anyways, not so great Salmon is packing the likes of the Gallade, the Tyrantrum, the Dawn Fit. Whoa! We actually have Talonflame in the RU tier. I never thought I'd see the day coming where the big barbecue chicken, the big bad barbecue chicken bragging about them Gale Wings would be dumped so low into the tiering system, man. It's going to be interesting to see how it functions in RU. But we also have ourselves the Melodic and the Roserade. Now, Shiny Eevee's team is packed of the legs of the Gol Giggle. It almost said Gallade. What the fuck? I'm getting all tongue-tied. Blech. Anyways, we have ourselves the Gigalith, a shiny Gigalith at that. We also have ourselves a Steltland. We have the Alola Dug Trio. We have the Jolteon. We have ourselves the Delphox and the Gardevoir. Or could that be Mega Gardevoir? I'm thinking it's probably regu regular Gardevoir, although I'll be really surprised if it happens to be Mega in this low of a tier. With that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with our first battle! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Rose Raid and the Gardevoir leading off of one end. So what is going to happen here in this exchange, baby? So we got... Oh! Psychic! That has to be a Scarf one. Unless, of course, that Rose Raid was defensive and had no speed investment. But anyways, then comes the Tyrantrum and now in comes the Gigalith, man. We got two Rocky Titans going to square off and that Head Smash does a lot of damage. Holy shit, man. So what's going to happen? Two Head Smashes! That crit did not even need to happen, man. Because Tyrantrum is a beast and then some, man. So he has to switch out against the Aloha Dug Trio. And in comes the Dawn Band to take that Earthquake. Not as well as I thought. Holy shit. Anyways, he switches out and goes into Sparky, the Jolteon, and Dawnfin sets up the Stealth Rocks, baby. So what is going to happen here? And we got a Toxic Orb set going on. Is this like Quick Feet or something? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, what the hell? Like, Dawnfin survives the Hidden Power Ice and takes out Sparky with the Earthquake. Holy shit, this is crazy. And now we have ourselves the Aloha Dug Trio coming in, and that Ice Shard doesn't really do that much damage, but it does score some much needed points, and the Iron Head, along with the Rocky Helmet, is what's gonna take down the Daunt Band, but he gets the Rocky Helmet damage, and we have ourselves Gallade coming in with the Z Power. He takes the Z, he goes to the Z Hypnosis, are you kidding me? And he puts that thing to sleep, and his speed is boosted by one stage, and he goes for that Sword Stance. Are you kidding me right now? Holy shit, this is absolutely amazing. The Drain Punch, yep, it got completely cleaned. His clock got clean, man. So what is going to happen next? We got the Gardevoir coming in, and Trace that Justified. I'm not sure if it's going to do anything at that point. Oh, he survived the Psychic. Not to mention, it actually still got outspent. It must be a Speed Tie or something. No, well, Speed Tie didn't work in this situation, and Gallade goes down, man. And now we got the Town Flame in the house, so what is going to happen? He switches out and goes into the Stoutland, and we got no Intimidate. So I wonder what kind of set that is. But that Brave does a lot of damage. Holy shit. And it takes down old Yellow this time oh my god okay so what is gonna happen now we have Gardevoir coming in so we have our okay wait a sec that's flame body up in this and psychic manages to take down town flame flame body and all baby but now we got tyrantrum coming in and that's psychic man that psychic does a lot of damage but he somehow survives and gets that head smash off big time man so now it has come down to this it has come down to delphox can delphox do anything for the opposing team Tyrantrum missed the head smash! Unbelievable! And it manages to get the Psychic and he takes him out! Oh my god, what an opening that was for the Delphox! But now in comes Milotic! Man, that Psychic does a lot of damage! Holy shit! And he survives the Scald! Are you kidding me? Okay, it's come down to these last few moves right here. What's gonna happen? He lives the Psychic! But what's gonna happen? Milotic! Scald! Oh! And that crit did not even need to happen, baby! Holy shit, okay, that right there was a hot as hell battle, man. Woo! Oh my god. 
I cannot believe how crazy close that battle was. 9% health survival that my Lodic was, and it managed to turn things around. Like, Tyrantrum had the battle won, and he missed the head smash, and it looked like the fucking, like, it looked like the Delphox was gonna turn things around. Like, wow! Like, that's spe that, that had to have been Specs damage for the Psychic, because my god did that do a lot of damage, holy shit. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is the battle. Great game by both competitors, but now, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready? Are you guys set for battle number two? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready for the second half of this epic as hell two more Tuesdays episode, or what? Because I sure am ready to keep on delivering the hype and energy to you guys. What we got going on here, we have ourselves a Generation 7 random battle. We got Zakaria 1 versus Manuel underscore HZ. Now, random battle is exactly what it is. It's completely randomized. You have absolutely no idea what you're going to get. So with that being said, how you doing? Let's get this shit started, baby. Woo! Okay, so we got the Ursaring leading off on one end versus the Catcher, baby. What's going to happen here? Oh, we got the Protect going on. Are we going to be seeing a status there, uh, Ursaring? Are we going to be seeing a status? Yup, and it gets burned by the flame. That means Guts is going to be activated, and Catcher ain't going to want any of that. So when it comes to Sand Slash, and we go, oh, what the fuck? Close combat in the face. Oh, shit. Man, that Sand Slash had no chance of survival. Oh, my God. Oh, that was complete annihilation. Oh my god. Oh shit, we got Galissapod now. Oh shit, it's about to get real. Then we got First Impression, and that does a lot of damage. Oh my god. And the Facade also does a lot of damage, and that procs the Emergency Exit. Oh my god. Okay, what the fuck is this? Now we got Tauros coming in. Okay, this is hype. What's gonna happen here? Ursaring goes for Protect. Okay, what's gonna happen? And Earthquake's not gonna do anything on that change, but what's gonna happen here in the next turn, man? Ursary switches out and goes, we got Tapu in the house, we got my girl, the Tapu Fini, the sushi girl, and she takes that earthquake like a champ, man, okay, what the fuck, man, this is crazy, that double edge does a lot of damage, but man, that girl is so strong, she's so bulky, and we got the calm mind, okay, uh-oh, that ain't good. Uh, it's not good because I'm not sure if she's gonna live the next hit, and no, she doesn't. Sadly enough, my girl didn't get to shine, man, oh my god. But then comes Sudowoodo to take the Avenging Man, and that Earthquake does a lot of damage with the critical hit and a Life Form Recoil too, baby, and misses the Head Smash. Are you kidding me? Sudowoodo, you had one job to do, that was to avenge my girl, and you fucked it. You end up going down, you ate dirt. Okay. Well, we gotta turn things around here, so now it comes the Earth Ring, and gets taken down by the Earthquake. I just gotta say, man, that Tauros is really rocking it today in this battle. But now it comes to Poudon, looking to stop the bull, looking to stop the beef, and that double edge does a lot of damage. Holy shit, but it gets taken up by the recoil. Oh god, holy shit. And Poudon has nothing to Earthquake on. Holy shit. Now it comes Golisopod now, and goes for the first impression. That does quite a bit of damage for being a beefy turk. And that Earthquake is not going to take him out in this turn. But what is going to happen next, man? What is going to happen? What is Galissapod and Hippowdon going to do? That Sucker Punch did even less damage. Holy shit. And it gets taken out by the Earthquake, man. Oh, my lord. Okay, so things might be turning around here for Sicaria here. We got Woody Cole coming in. And the Skull is going to take him out without question, man. As bulky as Hippowdon is, he couldn't have lived it from that range. Okay, so what's going to happen? We got Garbodor, baby. And that Gunk Shot. Oh! Completely destroys Ludicolo. Ludicolo ain't feeling so dancey, dancey, and jolly now, is he? But in comes Marowak. Oh, man. And that got. Oh, but it did get poisoned, though. What the hell? And that earthquake is without question. That crit didn't even need to happen. Without question, it's gonna take out the Garbodor. Okay. Who does Zakaria have left? Oh, we got Simipore. Nice dreads, man. What's gonna happen? That Hydro Pump easily takes out the Marowak. Okay, baby. So what's gonna happen next? It's come down to this, man. Got the Focus Blast. Capture and survive! Uh-oh, this ain't good, this ain't good. And that Sim- Simapore survived too? Are you kidding me? Who would ever thought that Simapore, being as frail as it is, would have been able to survive, and that Ice Beam from the Simapore on the capture is going to be the game. I was actually very surprised that thing didn't use Sucker Punch, or if it had Sucker Punch. If it was Sucker Punch, then the game would have obviously went to the opponent, but my god, that was also a clutch as hell battle, are you kidding me? And, wait a second. 19 turns! Wait, 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 wait. 19 turns! 19 turns! And the both of them were very clutch and down to the wire! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. 
Okay, that, that, like, I'm not sure if that's, like, some weird voodoo shit or, like, coincidence, like, central, but that was absolutely crazy. Who would have thought that two battles would have ended with 19 turns, both with clutch endings? Yo! Th 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 these, wow. These two battles are twins. They're officially twins. Like, what the fuck, man? Anyways, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is going to conclude this video. So if you guys enjoyed the hell out of this video, make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. Like I said at the beginning of the program, let's aim for 22 likes here for this absolute madness. You want more content like this, you know what to do. That's rate, comment, share, channel, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher and the community because you guys are an old deal by now, my friends. What more community type packed on this one? You know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined because we are the Mega Crasher army. We always bring in that hype and entertainment filled with that fire, filled with dice, filled with that electricity and everything nice when it comes to your Pokemon types and overall best Pokemon Sun Moon hype coming from your boy known as Mega Crasher. So thanks for watching. Turn on notifications, baby, and I'll see you next up, no.